Sandra to come say a few words of her own before we move on to the banner discussion. Hello, everybody. Um, I've already lost my place. Okay. Okay. Um, it is so fitting that this event is taking place in a library. James loved the library. He was a grade school dropout who educated himself through world travel and books. He read voraciously and he had many interests, including everything from art, music, history, and world religions, to cooking, mysteries, and of course, humor. He loved stories, fact or fiction. He loved hearing them and he loved telling them. He painted pictures with his words and he told stories with his pictures. Everything had meaning for him. This project took over eight years to complete and he kept at it, painstakingly refining it in spite of failing health, deteriorating living conditions, lack of material resources and attitudes of skepticism, resistance and indifference from many quarters. It took a lot out of him and it gave a lot to him. It was his way of giving back to the community that was his home for over 20 years, the longest by far that he ever spent in one place. He truly appreciated the kindness of so many who, like him, did not look away from the suffering that goes on in the downtown east side and in places like it in our world. He even saw beauty and laughter here. In the midst of the most chaotic scenes, he would sweep his arm around and exclaim, you can't buy ambience like this. <laughs> and uh, this is his way of helping us to see with new eyes what is difficult for some of us to look at. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. These pictures speak for themselves and for him, and they are a powerful invitation for us to share our own stories. On behalf of James, with my whole heart, I want to thank everyone who helped him to bring his vision to realization. From Sharon Kravitz, then of the Carnegie, who helped to get this whole journey started, sitting right there, and to Sarah Common of Life Skills, who so lovingly guided it to its current stage of completion, and who has been nothing less than heroic under the sad circumstances of James' sudden passing. To everyone, too numerous and too anonymous to mention, who supported James in so many ways in his life and in his work, and to all of you who came here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.